recent survey shows that people who have access to legal CBD in states that sell CBD like in convenience stores, legal gummies, or pre-rolls, those states also have less people who are addicted to painkillers. And there is a direct correlation with people having access to cannabis and those people not being addicted to opiates. And there's also correlation where people who don't have access to cannabis are more likely to be addicted to opiates. Also in news, RFK Jr. is excited to run for the presidency. He says he's not only going to legalize cannabis, but he's going to tax that cannabis. And they're going to use that cannabis tax money to fund drug treatment centers. One of the biggest problems we have is the amount of people who are on painkillers and addictive drugs and prescription drugs who are addicted to them and can't get off of them. You know, we need to solve this problem first. This is one of our biggest problems. Cannabis has been proven to get people off of hard drugs like alcohol and opiates and is also generating a ton of money in legal states. He's saying if we can take that federal tax money and put it into treatment centers, that would be the best case scenario. And so obviously we're going to need cannabis to do that. Also, it was a group of researchers have figured out that Ohio is losing $260 million a year by not having access to legal cannabis for recreational purposes. They also said that number would bring about $800 million worth of social value, whatever that is. What they're saying is when you have access to legal cannabis, places get better. There's more things to do and other ways to generate income. People have events where there's vendors and the vendors sell stuff and people buy stuff for other folks. And so there's commerce and there's a whole bunch of things happening on a level that aren't happening when you don't have access to legal cannabis in your state. Thanks for watching The Wow! Daily!